Imagine a society where every individual perfectly plays their assigned role. A society with a rigid class structure, where the ruling class is not driven by wealth or power, but by wisdom and virtue. Does it sound like a utopian dream or a dystopian nightmare? This is the vision of an ideal state conceived by the ancient Greek philosopher Plato in his renowned dialogue, The Republic. Plato's Republic is a complex work, layered with intricate ideas and philosophies, but at its heart, it is an exploration of justice, both at an individual and societal level. Plato presents his vision of an ideal state where society is stratified into three distinct classes. The rulers, composed of philosopher kings, the auxiliaries, essentially the military and police force, and the producers, the craftsmen, farmers and labourers. Each class plays a specific role and adheres to the principle of specialisation, contributing to the harmonious functioning of the state. Plato's philosopher kings stand out as a unique concept. These rulers do not seek personal gain but are driven by a love for wisdom and knowledge. They are the most enlightened individuals, possessing a deep understanding of forms, which Plato describes as the highest form of knowledge and the only truth. The idea of forms is another key element in Plato's philosophical thought. They are perfect, unchangeable and eternal concepts or ideals that exist independently of their manifestations in the physical world. For instance, a circle drawn in the sand is a physical representation, but the concept of a perfect circle in its absolute form exists only in the realm of forms. Plato also delves into the nature of the human soul, dividing it into three parts mirroring the classes of his ideal state. The rational part, akin to the philosopher kings, seeks truth and wisdom. The spirited part, like the auxiliaries, is courageous and driven by honor. The appetitive part, reflecting the producers, desires physical gratifications like food, drink and wealth. Justice, for Plato, is when these parts of the soul fulfill their respective roles without interfering with each other. In a just individual, the rational part rules over the spirited and appetitive parts, just as the philosopher kings rule in the ideal state. In conclusion, Plato's Republic presents a philosophical blueprint for an ideal society, it delves into the nature of justice, the role of classes in society, the concept of philosopher kings, and the theory of forms. The Republic also offers a tripartite model of the human soul, reflecting the structure of the ideal state and the essence of individual justice. While Plato's vision may seem far removed from our modern societies, his philosophical insights continue to provoke thought and debate. They challenge us to question the nature of our reality, the pursuit of knowledge, and the meaning of justice in our lives. So the next time you find yourself musing about the perfect society or the true nature of your soul, remember, you're in good company. Plato has been pondering the same questions over two millennia ago.